What is up, lads? It is the Midnight Kid. I'm back with Weza, who's been absolutely smashing eFootball 2022. <laughs> so he's got all the he's got all the intricate talking tonight. He's going to be doing all the investigative journalism, and I'm going to be quizzing him because I see Wes, you've been smashing it with the streaming. We're back. We're going to be discussing all things eFootball 22. I know a lot of you guys had questions, and thanks for getting involved in the comments on YouTube, showing the support to that. We've got so much comments in, people asking to pick our brains and to like, you know, what the game was like, what we thought it was going to be like, Wes, before it came out, obviously when we did the last yeah. podcast, to now that we've had time with it. Um, we're also going to go over like the squad balance and GP, maybe a couple of tips and tricks on how to build your squad. I know, Wes, you've done a lot of in-depth stuff on your uh, Twitch streams with that. And then we're also mm -hmm. going to discuss defending and pace. And maybe just touch on what we hope will come towards it. So that's just a brief. You guys will be able to see that on the screen. A brief. We're kind of getting. We're we're trying to go a bit more professional, Wes. We're getting a bit we're structured now, up. you know. Even though this we're is one take. Up. Yeah, we're trading <laughs> up, man. But we still, yeah, we're still we're still getting there. We're still going to be working on a live type podcast once we have everything set up. But for now, you guys seem to be enjoying this that you can listen in your own time and not have to miss out on the original conversation. So. For now, we are going to stick to doing this. We will throw in the odd Twitch stream here and there. But yeah, Wes, it's good to get good to talk to you, man. Because I've been I've been looking forward to hearing your thoughts. I've been watching all your streams. I've been playing the game myself. I've been really enjoying certain aspects of it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I've been, you know, surprised in the best positive way. In some ways, I have a couple of niggles I want to get off my chest as well of things that I I don't want seeing become an issue. They're not an issue at the moment, but I don't want to see them become an issue and repeat you know the 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 mistakes of 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 the past of the series with pez um but jumping straight into it man i want to talk about you know our initial thoughts because that's what a lot of people have got in you know in their questions to me by dms and stuff um and keep them coming in every week lads as well wes loves answering questions right he loves oh, i love it he loves comments, it he's like an encyclopedia DMs. But uh, I, I will, I will take, I will take a role as an informal Pez Universe like <laughs> opinion help desk. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, well, that's, that's what your streams are kind of like. Works. You know, you answer questions, and that's what it's all about: helping people come along. Because look, right, our initial thoughts on this and the initial release of the game, everything, and we talked about this. It was Wes. It was everything was like, well, let's see what happens. Yeah, this could be like this, but yeah. let's see. Now the game is out in the wild, right? This time last week, everything was hypothetical. Now it's like, okay, we've sat down, we've played it in the comfort of our own houses, with our own consoles. We haven't looked at media footage. What has been your initial reaction to, you know, like the game being out right now? You've played a couple of games, a couple of dozen games maybe. Um, like, what are, what are your thoughts like? Just give me a brief rundown of, of what you're thinking of where the game is now, five or six days on from release. Yeah, I think I think the, the the kind of the major word with it was at least my buzzword before was was potential because mm. we we were, we weren't sure what we were getting, and and I still think that that buzzword is there. Um, when I first looked at obviously the game, obviously the the podcast that we had last week, I couldn't get a game. Hazard, the maintenance the day after absolutely fixed it. So I yeah, was that was quick as well. That was a quick turnaround, man. Really stuck it, which is great. You mm. know, from from a from a from a point of view of we needed to fix something or something wasn't quite right for particular players maintenance comes in sorts that out and i'm just like yeah great uh, again a1 for for absolute effort and execution from konami again it, you know from from my standpoint you keep your criticisms as loud as you keep your you know plaudits you know yeah, like I as agree. much as i've been there probably holding them at the scruff of the neck and repeatedly punching them in the face going make this thing playable <laughs> uh, now i'm actually at this point where i'm going actually it is playable yeah uh, like it's it's more than playable for me in the sense of the the, the dream team mode itself i know i went into a uh, kind of a good bit of talking points last week in terms of the the kind of almost shadow editions that they didn't really tell you about mm. and you just had to kind of feel <laughs> through for which i think a lot of people made some errors with their their comeback yeah. gp or their yeah, veteran yeah. gp which i'm sure we'll touch on about the, the balancing in the moment but for me <laughs> yeah. for me for me there's a potential of a solid game there um in terms of from a gameplay standpoint yes there are niggly issues for example my goalkeeper coming out and just kind of almost being able to just be completely walked around mm. and then he doesn't really do anything to react yeah i'm a little bit like that's a niggle the, the there's a niggle in relation to kind of through balls or just passes where 
neither the defender nor the attacker know that the ball's there. Mm. And, and it kind of, it picks and chooses as to where a ball is. For example, there's been a couple of, I wish I'd have brought clips with me, but there was, there was clips of my, my broadcasts or my streams where it was, there'd be an obvious cut across on, and instead of it going to the player that's literally there, instead mm. it's going to the player that's there. Yeah, and I'm I get kind you. of like, Anyone that has like, played a few games please. will know what you're talking about, really. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like, please, you, you, you can see that there is a very obvious, a very overpowered Olivier Giroud at this point because <laughs> I went a bit crazy with trainers. Giroud ball. But there's there's a guy that's there, but you're going, no, I, I want you to pass to that guy. Now, that mm. might be a pass, pass assist issue. That might be the fact that I'm on two higher pass assists, so it's just picking out what it thinks I should be doing. Yeah. I, I obviously need to review that because I think they changed the pass assist Yeah, they've changed, but, yeah. So I think they've so, changed the passing though as well, man. If you kind of and again, you know, like we probably anyone that has played will probably be able to envision what we're describing, right? Like they've changed yeah, yeah. the 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 kind of the flight of the ball. Now I know the ball physics need a bit of work, and we can touch yes, on that again because yes. that's a big that's a big thing that I do agree with that people have said to me. But they have changed kind of way the passes go through, where it's like in Pez twenty twenty one or Pez twenty two Pez season update. There was a specific kind of flight of the ball that was like always kind of they'd kick it kind of outside like or they'd kick like a true ball i don't know it's hard to describe it like across the player whereas now it seems to go the opposite side sometimes as well so it's like sometimes i'd be kicked passing the ball and i'd be like yeah i know where that's going to go because i've played you know pez 18 19 20 21 yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and i know yeah. exactly and then it's like oh that was not expected. It's, a bit, it's, it's yeah. like it's it's it's, it's it, they've made the ball freer, but mm. not in a in the numbers, not in a positive manner. Which yeah, you can it, get it caught very bizarre. easily on the break. Like yeah, it sounds very bizarre, but you you can you you could probably play the same ball five times and mm. you'll get five different. Yeah, you get five. But I find that 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 only happens. Like I find the passing and stuff is a lot more freer once you're not in the final third. It's when you go into the final the final ball, like the true ball or whatever that's when I find the noticeable difference. And like, mm. to me, as you said there, there's five different balls. There's five different outcomes. It's yeah. kind of, I like that kind of variety, but at the same time, you know, it only seems to be in the final third. Cause like in midfield and stuff, you can spray the ball around. And if you bring in the, the stun and pass and stuff, then that kind of make, gives you more control over it. But yeah, I do agree. I mean, it's just, it's kind of, it is, it's, it's just different, isn't it? It's just slightly different how you, how yeah, you, I find myself I, attacking a little bit differently now and relearning when to pass, when to take an extra touch, when to turn back and recycle the ball. And I yeah, think a lot of I mean, people are finding that as well. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've said it countless times where we, we've constantly said the words, oh, it's not, it's not a Pez game, it's not a mm. Pez game. And, and whilst there are still echoes of Pez within this game, like you can certainly tell that the mechanisms they're going down are different than what we have played before. Hence why... You know, I always temper it by going. Actually, do you know what? Is there something I could be doing differently? Yeah. And if there what, it, and if there is, which there has been on occasions, there's been times where I'll play a pass. It'll be far too hard. Rafinha will will basically completely miscontrol it. It'll go out of play, and I'll be like, yeah, do you know what? Hit that one too hard. Mm. Probably need to hit a bit softer, or just not play the pass um, in, at all and just dribble and carry the ball. So, um, you know, the the I, you know with the mechanisms. Or at least how this game is right now, we we had a we had a similar situation with the much lauded and much beloved uh, PES 2018 beta, where in the first few days of that beta, everyone went, "Do you know what? This is amazing." Mm. And then there were some people that went, "This thing's broken." Yeah. And then everyone kind of went to that side of everyone going, "Yeah, you're right. It's broken." It's like no, it's it, these things are not necessarily broken. It's just they work in a different manner than we've seen them before. Now, granted, there are some things that are broken. You know, I saw uh, you know talk of there being some type of corner glitch. I'm not too sure what that is. Yeah. But apparently, there is some type of corner glitch that's happening at the moment. That's something that's like that's a glitch. That's a bug. That's an mm. exploit. That's something to look at. Not oh, actually, they've got a dynamic now with the defense whereby if I rush out and I constantly hold the pressure button, or if I can't, or if I dive in for a challenge. I leave a gap that's 20 yards wide behind me because my players come out and try to tackle the ball. Mm. That's that's on me. Like, you know, I can point to the losses that I've had on this game so far. Yeah. And I can point to every single occasion Mistakes. where I've gone, I've done something wrong. Yeah. It's not actually the game. It's something I've done. Mm. I've either not cleared a ball correctly or I've dallied on a ball too long in midfield, which has then presented itself as a, as a breaking opportunity. Uh, the, there's, there's, there's stuff there that is my fault. 
and and in truth, in balance, there's stuff there that need, like we said needs work. Mm. You know, I think the, oh, the, yeah. the play there's sometimes with the player switching in the sense that you don't always select the player you want to. Mm. Like there's very much a lot of the cases of not him, I meant him. <laughs> and then by the time you, by the time you've pressed it two or three times, and even with the right analog stick, yeah. you try and press it a couple of times with the analog stick, it doesn't go to the right player. And by the time you've got the hold of the right player, you know, and back plays behind you, and mm. and and it's you know it's curtains for you. You know, little things like the the second man pressure. I know that that's come back in, which is again is a good thing. However, the the kind of almost homing missile like, you know, once it's on, you can't stop it from mm. being on. I I'm kind of a bit like that's not how it used to work to begin with. Yeah. But more importantly, it's like you can't select who goes and presses. Mm. I had an incident this evening where it was like players running through. There's a defender directly in front of him. I'm chasing with a manual player, and I hit the pressure button, thinking right. The guy in front of him is going to be the guy that goes and presses. No, mm. no, no. For some reason, David Beckham, who's twenty yards behind him, is the player yeah. that's called yeah, to go. I and get you. I'm like, I'm like, there's a player right in front of you, and then you can easily get that ball. Mm. So, I, I ranked it. I think it was like a six out of ten. And I know mm. I'm being slightly hard on it, but it's more a case of okay, there is a basis here. Yeah. Let's keep this basis. Yeah. Let's let refine it. Let's make it more solid. And then, as we pointed out, you know, God knows how many times. Content is now going to be the key to at least keeping this game fresh mm-hmm. for, for for Dream Team. Yeah. As for the likes of the Master Leagues and stuff, obviously that stuff is to to come. But you would like to think that the same TLC that was afforded to Dream Team in terms of the things that they've added, you would like to think that the same types of ideas and you know additions to game modes are now happening for offline players. But yeah, I think primarily, is. primarily, is it fun? Yes. Is there stuff to learn? Yes. Is there stuff to improve? Yes. Mm. The, all of those questions are yes. There's there's no you know, none of those things are mutual for me personally. Mm. Um, I know there are some people who absolutely hate it. Mm. There's some people who are low-key loving it, but they probably don't want to say it out loud. Mm. There's probably there's some people who are like, do you know what? I'm going to tiptoe back towards it and see if I like it. But all of those things are fine. Mm. All of those things are grand because if we can improve the player base, much like you said, if we can take people with us in terms of people who are streaming or, co- or content creators you know for example the you know on the youtube channel we've got like lists of like oh here's an easy to build 200k yeah. gp squad yeah if we can take new players with us it's going to then increase the player base for mm. everybody yeah and if there's mechanisms that people don't understand coming from fifa or coming from any other game god knows the amount of times i was asked about how do we increase the the team play style level yeah that's but a big once one you nail, once you show people and once you make it apparent as to how that happens mm. they go oh do you know what? that's a brilliant system that's mm. a great idea oh yeah. well can you get multiple versions of the same player and train them up different ways yeah probably yeah, you, you can, but yeah. it's just a way it's just a way of working and, and how you want to utilize your resources mm. so ultimately there are things that i like there's things i don't like i'm very middle of the road at this point but again this next week and the next couple of months and beyond I think that's going to be where it's either you know we're either you know we're on the the Vin Diesel or Paul Walker are we going one way are we going the mm. other like that's that's yeah. where we're going to be so you know I think the fun is right back now, there man that's the big thing is that like yeah. everyone I've talked to including you and including people that were a little bit you know like I was talking to one of the lads earlier that was like totally you know totally disenfranchised with everything and was like you know I don't like I don't ever see him getting back to that level of you know one more game or you know, building, like I have 20,000 GP and the player I want is 24,000. You know, I'm just going to play one game, sign that player. And that's kind of my my goal for tonight or my goal for the weekend, you mm. know, to save up this. I think that that's kind of back there at the moment is that like, it's something that we said on the podcast multiple times is that like the gameplay doesn't need to be perfect. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying that I'm happy with where things are and we, we're, we're settling for this. We always want the gameplay imp- to improve. We always want the responsiveness to be the best it can be. We always want, you know, our passes to go where they want to go, to have that little bit of variety that you misplace something if you don't do things perfectly and have a really good skill gap there, right? Yeah, that's true. And the gameplay can always improve. But at the same time, I think for me, I think it's the first time in years that I've actually seen people be like, yeah, I just want one more game. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm after losing that yeah, game. Yeah, I want yeah, one. Yeah. And even though the gameplay isn't perfect, that hasn't been in like Pez for years and now in eFootball yeah. I think it's just a bit of a breath of fresh air that it's like mm-hmm. okay I can see where you're going and that seems to be the synopsis from people that were like completely gone off the series were like I'm done with this 0.9 came out and I just memed it I laughed at it I made fun of it 
I, you know, felt completely 100% justified in making that decision. And now they're kind of like, do you know what? This actually isn't half bad. Then they start to play That's, it and they're like, yeah. there's something here that... Is, yeah. is 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 drawing me in and i think that's what that's that's what they need like they need a gameplay hook and i think they have that with dream team obviously offline yeah. fans such as myself are going to be a bit unhappy that there's no master league in edit mode but i think that as you said like you either believe that that's going to come with the same level of work that's being put into dream team or you don't you know what i mean that's everyone's opinion that's everyone's yeah. personal but- choice to wait you know yeah i mean the, i mean the thing is for, for for offline players it is that you know potentially we could be sat in i don't know three six months time mm. however long it is until, until mass league and edit mode appear we could be sat here where people are going Do you know what i'm so annoyed that mass league's not here master league drops and then master league has been improved to the similar type of, level yeah. of dream team yeah where offline players go and excuse my French, they go, "Holy shit! Mm. What the hell is this?" Worked this? Away like, like, yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it blows it blows things open to then go, "Well, hell, the offline players have been taken care of, and the mm-hmm. online players have been taken care of." The only thing you would say to to kind of counteract what you were saying there about the one more game thing is, and again, this is a this is a pretty kind of kind of core thing that's come through all of my streams is yes, people want to play one more game. But the rewards for doing so are yeah. so low. That's why like, this Thursday is huge, you like do. you know. Yeah. So so there needs to be, you know, again, if I <laughs> if I was gonna turn around and be from a content standpoint, what do I need to do? I would certainly for the replay the replay of each tournament, it needs to increase. Yeah. Like I would make it set it so that yeah, if you want to set it so that it's ten K GP for the first time you or for the, each stage, fine. Mm. But then replayability wise you want to make it so that it's either 5,000 GP a round or 3,000 yeah. GP yeah, a round. Yeah, yeah. Make it something so that somebody like myself who's been grinding and playing for XP more than anything else yeah. to grow to grow the youngsters, give them something where they can go, oh, okay, do you know what? I can then save up my, my GP to then go and go and do, you know, yeah, go put and it towards something. Yeah. Versions, or go and put it towards something. Because for the first time in God knows how long, GP has become viable yeah again. yeah it, it you know as much as people are oh, do you know what i love the auction house and i love this and love that the 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 outpouring of love for that standard player list has been almost <laughs> universal for yeah my god i can use my gp for something now which yeah. you know i think i had ronaldo bless him he was in the chat tonight going like ah oh, really i really need some i need to find how to farm he's like because mm. like i need a million gp that i can get in 10 <laughs> days on my razor so, and i'm like he's six well, months too late it would cool. be 0. 0.9 that's it, when he should have been farming yeah <laughs> that was it so people have been making the comments of oh well people have got people have got legends and people have got gp and, yeah and, and and people have got ridiculous squads day one and it's like so okay so we've gone from essentially policing the games that people play to now mm. policing the way that play them and that like, they played really? 0.9 <laughs> i mean that was the yeah, reward he, system he play, it's like... I, I used i used i used jenkins as a perfect example because mm. he he's he literally i would say from start to finish he's probably the most consistent person in terms of i played v i played 0.9 i played 0.91 and i played v1 right mm. the fact that the guy has the super squad that he has <laughs> it, it's almost it, it is almost compensation at mm. this point and yeah. that's how i would frame it because you know what the guy has worked to get through all of those campaigns through yep. all of the gp get, gets through everything so that you can get this kind of reward at the end so mm. he has a ridiculous and anybody who else who did that by yeah, the way a has got a ridiculous it. head start mm. and more power to you because you stuck with it you yeah. stuck with the series and 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 i'll put this out there for those who did stick with it you're a better person than i did because i took my holiday and i went and played the other game like i took my <laughs> holiday I took my sabbatical, I took my ball, I did a Steve Austin, and I went home, and, and that was it. But now yeah, man, but I've kind of come back to that's it. That's your choice. And it's like, like it, but yeah, and, and I am happy to sit here and go, do you know what? Actually, the game is now in a playable state. Thank God that it is. Mm. And do you know what? There is something to work with. It's not, like I say, it's not perfect, yeah. but it is something. And that's the key of it. It's, it there's something to work with. Yeah. It's not just, oh, we've got, we've got nothing. Oh, we've got all oh, we've got. We've just got quick match, or we've just got mm. this. You know, as an offline, as an online player, you have a bit more to work with, and I'm yeah. just hoping that when content drops Thursday or when content starts to drop a little bit more regularly, that it becomes this thing where it's it's daily, weekly, yeah. monthly, seasonal objectives. Yeah, I think you get. need at least like you need at least, in my opinion, you need 
you need at least 10, like 15 to 20 hours of content a week. Like, yeah. so that somebody that it has the, you know, like if, if Sep or you go on and do a stream or any of the boys go on and do a stream, like Jenkins or any of them, crisscross, whoever, like it's, it's, it's going to be a thing where you can sit down and decide, right, I'm going to do seven hour stream here. I'm going to do an eight hour stream tomorrow. That's my 15 hours. I'm going to clear every event. I'm going to have the reward at the end of it. Yeah. And also you need to have that there that as well, that like if I'm, you know, like somebody comes home from work or whatever and they're like, oh, I've got an hour tonight of two hours tomorrow. The kids are going away Saturday morning. I'm going to stream, you know, I'm going to do a bit of playing yeah, 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 and grinding yeah. Saturday morning that they're not left behind. So I think, you know, if it was like a 40 hour commitment for content to have the best of the best, I think that would overwhelm a lot of people that has never had something like this in a Pez game before. But I think getting that balance right, that like if you're going on every evening to play the game, I think you need to have something, something there. Even something. if it's just trainers or, you know, like duplicating your, your rewards for like a lower reward or something like that or, you know, yeah. doubling up on your rewards. But like, let's let's talk about that, right? Because that's a nice segue into like the squad balance, as you said there. Like yeah. for people yeah. listening, especially newcomers, there have been a lot of new guys following us with the podcast and like getting involved and whatever, um, finding the podcast. So welcome. But yeah, um, welcome in, y'all. Welcome in, lads. But like there's been a lot of questions coming into me, like and 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 stuff like that, and from from different places. And one of the biggest things I see is like the squad balance, right? So I did a video where it was like basically my episode one of the like my journey with Dream Team. So I started to pick yeah. my squad or whatever. Now, for yeah. me personally, I think I had like five legends when I started, yeah. right? Because I was playing V0.9. I did all the campaigns. The only campaign I didn't do was the Raul one. There was a Raul one, I think, you to play yes. 100 matches or something. Yeah, I, don't yeah. know. I didn't do that, but I did everything else. So I had about 1.6 million GP, I think. And I had five mm -hmm. legends and I had loads of trainers or whatever. So I was pretty much, I'm pretty much set, right? And yeah. I was kind of saying to myself, you know, I would have preferred a grind, like some sort of aspect where it's like, yeah, I can go out and buy one, two or three players. But, you know, the only thing I could have done to control that after earning everything was not open my free agents. You know what I mean? Like yeah, leave yeah, yeah, four yeah. legends on the table and be like, no, I don't want them. And like, you know, that's yeah. just pointless. Like, so yeah, yeah, now I don't have to play the players, but if I'm losing 2-1 and 70 minutes gone, against the sweaty guy i'm gonna be like yeah i'm gonna to have to throw on Vieira here i'm gonna throw on 95 rated romario do you know what i mean but yeah, like yeah. i just think that that's going to be the biggest thing for me when the coins come into it next thursday that has to be controlled by content because if you are training up a youngster that's level 80 and you're training him up and you're grinding for xp and you're grinding for trainers and all this sort of stuff and then you know out of the blue you can just spin and get a 90 rated attacking midfielder who completely blows him away based on stats. Like that's yeah. something that I don't want to see happen because we all remember, what was it? When Neymar, 96 rated Neymar, Neymar came it, it in was the first Neymar. week or two. And Zayek. Yeah, it was Neymar and Zayek, yeah. yeah. You know, and it like, those two guys. I think they've put a bit of thought into it. Like I think that, you know, I think myself at the moment that like there are some superstar squads there. Those superstar squads are only going to get better. And then, you know, you're going to have guys that are kind of like starting with youngsters and developing different things and different ways of how to play and all that. Yeah. Then it's going to come into about like rating and rankings and, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like matching players equally, you know, like we don't have any levels, so to speak, at the moment. We just have the team strength. So I'm really looking forward to hoping, well, I'm really hoping that that squad balance is there because like I want to be able to go on and have a giant killing I also want to have a couple of games where I can coast because I've got a good team. Yeah. But if I take my foot off the gas and I'm playing against a good guy that can play and hold the ball, that he can get a scrappy 1 0 against me. Do you know what I mean? And that was yeah. in the older Pez games with MLO and stuff. Um, but I do think, man, they have put in a lot of effort into the market and like the training and all that. And I do think that you can kind of train up the players enough that they can compete. It'll just be about like what is going to drop coin wise this Thursday, because I think I have even I think I've like three iconic moments that I'm going to be getting from the veterans bonus as well. If I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I think I have three. <laughs> I think I have three there and I think I have like 600 coins that you can spend as well that were from yeah. the campaigns would be 0 0.9 as well. So like my team is only going to be getting better whether I like it or not. Now, would I like to create a brand new squad from scratch and have squad number two? 
you know, rags to riches type like yeah, Irish yeah, FC yeah. where I have all the Irish boys and I train them up. Yeah, I would yeah. like to do that. You know, I would like to see the option of having a secondary squad that you could play with. Um, mm. But I know it's obviously dream team mode. It's your starting 11, like your main starting 11 is kind of the, yeah, the whole yeah. hook of it. But that's going to be something for me personally that I want to, yeah, I do want to play with my Romario. I do want to play with Vieira and like have the best players at my disposal. But I also think that like for people that want to play the old two-star, three-star of Pez, yeah. like I don't think that there's a worry about having to the demand there for that. But also at the yeah, same time, not. I also think at the same time, man, like I'm just really like looking forward to seeing how they balance the coins and stuff. Because if I go on and I match up somebody, he's got every single player under the sun. And he's after pumping in 500 quid in coins, which there will be people that will do that this Thursday. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I already got a DM off a guy. Basically, he had like 300 pounds of PSN codes loaded up on his account ready for Thursday. Like oh, he sent God. me a, he sent me a, an image today. I he's mean, like ready I for mean, it. Fair, 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 fair enough. Like, yeah, that's, that's up to, that's that's way, up to him. That's, you know, that's completely that, yeah, up to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's like, I think I saw, I think it was um, Hossein who, who put a tweet out today where it was like, oh, were you... I think you put a poll out where it was like, "Oh, are you are you are you planning to use uh, you know are you planning to buy any uh, e football coins?" And I was like, "Do you know what? If I can absolutely help it, no. Yeah. Like if I can, if I can, because again, for me, the element of grind that they have introduced into this game is very reminiscent of MLO. Yeah. And probably for a gamer like of my vintage, shall we say, mm. the grind element is perfectly fine because yeah. you look at it and go, actually, I'm I'm okay with this, like." The, the, the beauties of some of the things with the, the team play style level, you know, for example, you if you end up hitting the 100, you know, mm -hmm. as, your, as your team play style level, all of your players get a plus three overall. Yeah. So regardless of who they are, they get plus three overall, mm. like, in, in the squad. So, again, uh, and then that's not taking into account if they're in form or, or whatever the case may be. That's going to catch so a lot example, of people out as well, the farm with the live update. Yeah. That's yeah, going to be a big thing. But that's but that's going to be something to 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 kind of explain to to new guys is that yeah. you know I your IRL football results for example as much as you are a Man United fan you know it, obviously you probably love the fact that you won three two but you're probably also back in mind going ah do you know what there might be a trending Ronaldo on Thursday yeah man Ooh, like yeah but that might but that but that could conceivably be a thing mm. like you you would pay attention to you know everything like people were asking me like oh if you are they going to have new legends coming are they going to have this and I'm like Literally, you don't know who these players are until the thing drops yeah. on a Thursday. Like, yeah. You literally have, like, there's no, like, there's no, like, leakers of the world. Like, there's no, like, oh, they've put them into the database. No, they literally, what they do is they put them into the database upon the main. Yeah, on the, on the so day, you, yeah. So you have no clue until no. the thing drops. So, you know, I think, I think yes, I think balancing is going to be key. I think having a, a matchmaking filter wouldn't go amiss mm -hmm. um, in terms of, or, you know, in terms of even if it was bracket number to bracket number, yeah, like you know, yeah, was, the team you know, strength your, type thing, your team strength star, yeah, I, I get where they're going with the fact that it's it's kind of dream team because they've taken away contracts at mm. least from a from a you have to renew them with GP, yeah, it's just they're there, um, they've taken away you know stamina, stamina is a big one, yeah, degradation. they've taken away that per game, so I can see where they're going where they're going, yeah, just get your best team in there however mm. you know uh, there are quite a few players that i have seen who've gone please bring back having multiple squads because I used yeah to i think they will that. i think i think yeah. they definitely will i think this week think like alone has been basically from what i've heard is is literally to just get this out and get people playing it gameplay wise it looks, like let's see what yeah. the gameplay is and i think that even for me man like i was i was overwhelmed by how deep this went from the game just dropping. Like I didn't expect an update. Or I didn't expect this much depth in Dream Team until a couple of months time. Like I knew certain things were coming, but I didn't know when they were coming. It was just all yeah. seemed to be very like, yeah, this is coming, but we don't know when. And then it's like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Now, the, the you know. Thing, yeah, I was gonna say the only thing I would slightly criticize from it was was that all of this depth came to the game mode, but there was nowhere that explained to you about the fact that managers no longer at the steer for your team play style or your team spirit for yeah. old money. Yeah. There wasn't anything to suggest that there's play that the like the player's proficiency was the key to getting your your team your team play style up. 
there wasn't anything like it's either as somebody put in my chat tonight it was either and i hate using other people's words but it, it, it was the best way to sum it up it's either it wasn't really explained properly or it wasn't explained at all and yeah quite rightly as you said it's they've plumped it out there it's in the wild now and now it's kind of its own little thing where people mm. are now stumbling to kind of figure everything out yeah which is fine i like that though man like i think that's part of the charm it, because the information is all the there charm, sure. on, like in the game do you know what i mean and like yeah it's all there in the game but if say for example you are let's 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 put you in the in the eyes of a fifa player who's mm. never played a lick of e-football never played pairs they see a free game on the marketplace he goes in there gets completely ko'd by a squad that's you know 100 team play style um and then he's got 66 play style and he doesn't understand how to get that up. Yeah. There's nothing really in the game. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's in, the, it's, there, it's so hidden. It's hidden in the game. Like yeah. it's there, but so, it's not. So, so have it, have it screaming at yeah. the player is what I would say. In future, if there are progressions to the game or if there's new facets that are added, if you were Konami, just scream it at yeah. players, literally yeah. scream it at them or better yet, I know this sounds completely alien. Have a video tutorial. That yeah, but man, people because... trust. Me, man, trust me. People, know, people know, won't know, watch people... or read. Like they just don't. Which, like... is, which is which is fair. But at least then, at least then they can say, Do you know what? The information was there. You chose to. Read yeah. It. It, here at this point, you have to really dig for it. Which yeah, you do. Like you said, do. I would rather you be screaming at me, going, "This is here. This is here. You re you really need to read mm. this." rather than it be tucked away in an envelope that's in the top right-hand corner, which I only go into if I'm looking for rewards. Yeah, like no, you're right. Yeah, it's just like, about finding the balance, isn't it? Yeah, you have it Have it so that it is like a live tutorial that you've got to go through. I know people might some checks and get through it, but at least then you can say, do you know what? It was right there. Like, yeah. that, that's, that's, I think that's they the, just the wanted point. to get this out and like... That's going to be it's something. Like it's it's yeah, they're they're just kind much. of they're just kind of like they've made massive strides. I think in terms yeah. of the patch notes and in terms of updating the web, yes. their official yeah, website, yes. and the trailers yes. and stuff have been improved. But yes. I mean, there's yes. always there's always ways to um to improve that sort of communication. Yes. And I mean, that's where we as a community and not just us, but yeah. all the community sites do a great job of, like. You know, I, I, yeah, I'm try exactly, and trying to put it down into an easily digestible like bite-sized six minute video or a 10 minute you know video or a five minute read article where it's like yeah this is what you need and then yeah. you know obviously you guys that stream and stuff you can go in and you can do it in real time if somebody in the chat you know and you might have yeah. one person in the chat that person that you help might turn around and help one other person and yeah, so on and yeah, so yeah. on and so on and that's what brings it along but like yeah i do like the kind of charm of it that it's there's so much depth there but like as we go, you know, back to like the squad balance issues and stuff like that, I still think that like, you know, I want to be able to compete against a team that is 100 rating, like, you know, 100 teammate or team style proficiency with the manager. Everything is everything. I still want to be able to go out and give him a good game. Like if I was playing, you know, it was Macable in the morning, right? just to give an example, or Etorito, or one of those boys, or I'll give a shout out to yeah. Alex, because he'll kill me, but Alex, well, <laughs> Alex, Alex now would be a warm-up game for me, you know what I mean? Because I know the inside oh, track. Yeah. Oh, but if I was yeah. playing one of those top pros, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. and I'm Barcelona, or I'm one of the top, top teams in the game, like, they'd still probably beat me with a lower-rated team, because they're just better at the game than me. You know what I mean? That's why they're pro guys, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, I want to be able to you know compete i'm not saying win i'm not saying like lose i'm not saying anything like that i just want to be able to compete and play my brand of football even if i lose three nil i want to be able to yeah. pass the ball where i want to pass it i want to be able to create chances no matter who i'm playing and do you know have and i think that at the moment i've come up against some unbelievable like one unbelievable squad that i came up against and it was a one one all draw do you know what i mean like it was yeah. a one all draw where i was like i could have won that but i could have lost it but i never felt like damn this guy just has yeah. now i have a stacked team as well don't get me wrong um but like that's that's kind of been something i think over the last couple of years the criticism of coming in of pay to win i know that that's more fifa than pez but it, it had started to creep into pez where it was like you know how am i going to beat you you've got 11 iconic moments that are 99 you've yeah, got 102 yeah, yeah. rated think, mbappe up front who's yeah, getting the yeah. boost and Messi, who's getting the, the boost because you're wearing a classic barcelona shirt like there was a yeah, lot of stuff yeah. in it that 
you know, you you could you could kind of like say, okay, let's rein this back and make it more about the eleven guys on the pitch, but also have the skill gap there with the person controlling those eleven players. Don't just have it yeah. that you've got Haaland up front who's a hundred overall passing to Mbappe who's a hundred overall, and you're scoring from forty yards out the pitch. You know, we don't want <laughs> Adriano soccer two thousand and six yeah. with Pez six yeah, like where it's just boy. instant goal. And I think they yeah. I think they've done that from watching like I've watched you stream. I watched. Pretty much anyone, you know, Spoonie, Ricky, any of the, the other guys, the French, the German guys, you, Sepp, anyone. I'm probably missing somebody now, but, you know, like I've watched as many streams as possible. And there seems to be like such a mix of results, such a mix of like gameplay styles that it's like there is stuff, you know, meta in the game. There is stuff that's OP in the game, in my opinion, still, but it's counteracted by different things. Do you know what I mean? I think there's a nice balance there. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying yeah. it's perfect, I, but I do think yeah. that it's a better base than what PES 2021 was when it came out. Yeah. Do you know that yeah, you can my, actually, you know, you can actually counteract somebody that presses really aggressively yeah, by yeah. sitting back and holding the ball. You can counter somebody that's spraying balls through by, you know, changing formation and having a different kind of style of play than him out, out wide, you know, or dribbling yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah. So... Yeah, man. I mean, like for me, that's where I want it to be. Like I want to be able to sit down and play a game that even though I know I'm not as good as the person playing, I can still pull out a result like in old PES yeah, games. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just because I'm playing online. Um, yeah. Now, one of the biggest things for me, right, is just to touch on defending because a lot of people were asking about that. That was probably the number one discussion point. So we're going to get into that right in a bit of depth. The defending and the pace of the game, right, for me, you mentioned Pez 2018 vibes with the the beta and stuff that everyone yeah. was going on about the defending. It's like, oh, the defending is broken. It's My more, players won't react yeah, and all this. Not, yeah, it, it's more it's more the reaction yeah. that the defending has created. It's not necessarily that the defending is exactly how it was in, in, in the 2018 Fable beta. You mean just the feel more, of it, like? It's more a case of that, that kind of almost like visceral reaction of people either going... Do you know what? This is awesome. Like this is brilliant. Like there's risk and reward. If I jump in or if I can get the ball back, like I've noticed a lot when I defend. Like if I see somebody who sprints with me, who's sprinting at me mm. with a player who has no business sprinting with at me, and then I see that there's one particular touch where they don't slow down. I'm like, right, that ball's knocked out in front of you enough that I am going to commit to a challenge and <laughs> get yeah. the ball back and launch and launch the counter. Yeah. On the flip side of. I've had a messy completely smoke me at points mm. because Messi's I've gone, ridiculous. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll 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 go and try and take you on, or I'll go and try and take you out, and it just it's just like yep, turn around other way, uh, you're out, mm. right? I think it's it's elicited that response of people going, it's not what I remember Pez defending to be. Yeah. So as a result, there's that visceral ah, it's broke, or ah, it's not, mm. I don't know what, I don't know what's contained, I don't know what's jockey, I don't yeah. know what's this, I don't know what's that, and it's like, very true, I think the, 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 the kind of the X or A contained, depending on what controller you're playing on, mm. it's meant to be that kind of like, it's meant to, I, as I've imagined it, it's meant to be kind of like a contained rather than yeah. a tackle, yeah, yeah, it whereas is, it is. I'm, whereas I'm noticing that when you sprint and hold it, you are just going yeah, straight you just go fly through past, the player, yeah. you, well, you know, you go straight through, you, mm. you beeline for the player, mm. So you essentially can end up spear tackling a player and because it's not technically recognised as a challenge. It, I mean, we took you know we completely glanced over the fact that the referees really need yeah, especially penalties it. this year. They're they're I, given I, those I needed, this year now. I need a big chat in terms of what constitutes as a foul. And what <laughs> I had a fair dodgy one. I literally, my I literally put the up. ball. I lit. I literally put the ball in the back of the net. After I'd yeah, been and you got a penalty, and you missed the penalty. I saw, I saw that. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like, okay, well, well, okay, fine. Well, that's just hilarious, but it's also like fouls really need to look at. Um, I had one man. I'm think- sure. I'm nearly. I'm swear. I swear. I think my player farted on the attacker, and he gave a penalty because there was literally no <laughs> contact. Man, I swear. Like, I, I was like looking at just, the camera. I was like, what is going on? But like, yeah, it's, but it's, I was holding uh, X. You know what I mean? I was spamming X. Yeah. So. Even though the game didn't visually, you know, it didn't visually make the contact that should have like constituted an actual free, like it didn't visually ting it. In the background, the game was coding, was telling it, yeah, Barry is holding X, he's committing too much, and there was contact there. Even though visually on screen, the players didn't make contact because there was like a mix up in stuff. The the point, the point for me there is, is that if if I'm meant to be holding X as like a contain, 
my player shouldn't be darting at the player. Like, yeah. if I want the player to dart at the player, I'd be sprinting yeah, manually yeah, yeah. going towards it. Not, oh, actually, if I hold X, then he just spear tackles him or yeah. he just goes for him. Like, I know there was a lot made in uh, 0.9, uh, 0.9 and 0.901 where it was, oh, well, you know, L2 is too extreme. Or, yeah. You know, for, for yeah, that was but crazy. I've, I, barely, I barely use L2 now. Yeah. It's meant to be like a shoulder charge. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's a shoulder charge, great. Mm. But when when is the best time to use it's it? It's more 50 50s. That's kind of what it, yeah, it's meant for. Yeah. Is it even effective? So I look, mm. I look at it. I yeah. Go, but I look at it and go. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. If I'm meant to be containing, that's mm. me cutting off the defender, to, or that's me meant to be just kind of not shepherding him, but I'm meant to at least be close enough that I can then make a challenge, not yeah. running straight up to the Like I said, the same with the second teammate or the second teammate press. It's you. It's almost comical that you could probably run in a circle and that <laughs> yeah. player would follow you <laughs> he just, yeah. in, in a perfect circle. Yeah. And it's weird because I'm like. I'm like, you can't, t once you've activated it, that's it. Yeah. You've activated it until the game decides that it's no longer active. Yeah. So again, for me, it's like, have it where it's it's a button hold rather than a button press. Mm. It, it, again, it's a very simple change, but it would certainly be something I would personally See, I think they've de I think they've deliberately left that in, though, man. See, the point, like, that's the thing. I think stuff like that is like... What, because I, they then made it so that you have to gamble? So yeah, it's like if I think, it, I, I think effectively, yeah, it's a cheap, that, it's a cheap way. It's 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 a I won't say a cheap way, but it's a it's an it's an ugly way of punishing somebody that's going to home and missile in, and that has got like has got off with for the last four or five years playing Pez and being very good at the mechanics of the game, like from a mechanical point of view, being very yeah. solid at the game. I think it's saying like, hold on a second now. I think all the, pe the, the the defending to me, the way I'm defending, the way I'm finding a bit of joy in it is, you know, I'm I'm holding X for like a split second and then I'm kind of releasing it, you know, and I'm going in a small bit and then backing off a small bit. Then I'm holding L2 and I'm in close. And it's like, it's happening in conjunction with each other. Whereas like in Pez last year and the year before, like if you were able to press in Pez, right? Like, as I said, we mentioned Duz Macable before, like when we saw him playing in the Euros and stuff, like them players are able to press with not just one, but two players and sometimes three, as you know. And on top of that, they were like literally able to press so high up the pitch and so, so aggressive that to the average person playing, they just wouldn't be, you just get completely overwhelmed by the amount of, you know, defenders closing in on you when you had the ball. And on top of that then as well, the second biggest thing was closing the passing lanes. Like if you were able to close the passing lanes effectively with your Vieiras, with your Barrioses and all those OP DMFs, like you just couldn't get past. And I think that that's, yeah, I agree with you. It needs finessing. Like it needs a little bit more, you know, like yeah. visually pleasing yeah. kind of like uh, animations and coding maybe. But I do think well, the idea behind it is that like, it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors type of defending in, you know, that you're like, okay, I'm going to go ugly and I'm going to try win the ball and risk it. I'm going to stay back and, you know, maybe get a ball in, be caught flat at the back or else I'm going to be try be patient and still concede because, you know, that's football. Now, I do agree with you in a way. It needs to be tidied up a little bit because I was watching one of your streams there and like, I could see what you're talking about in real time because I was watching your stream before we started recording this against one of the guys you were playing. And it was like, yeah, I can actually see exactly what you're describing there now. So I'd advise anyone that's listened to this that wants to know, go back and watch Wes's podcast on the 18th of the 4th at around 9 o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, like I could see that. But I do, I do, I must say like, I do like that kind of risk reward of yeah. Okay, if you want to press me and you win the ball nine times out of ten, I only need to get through your press once and have a yes. chance on goal. And that might be enough to, to win the game. So you this know? is one of these rare this is one of these rare occasions, folks, where Barry actually is able to convince me of a different viewpoint live and actually praise <laughs> it. But when you put it like that, considering how the pressing used to be on previous Pez games. Yeah. Now that totally makes sense mm. because now you now you stop the press abuse because you just go right. You can only press one player at a time. Yeah, and he's going to run. And he's going to run so far out of position. Yeah, that you better make sure that you are absolutely certain that that's what you're going to do. Yeah, when you put it like that, yes, all right. It still needs a bit of finesse. Yeah, it does. It definitely needs but, a bit of work. But the but the concept of it 
Okay, yeah, yeah. you've managed to give it to me. Not bad, not bad, Mr. <laughs> Ahala, and not bad at all. Nice, not man, bad. nice. Live and in the flesh. <laughs> Live, not bad. Not yeah, bad. but that's what it's all about. Like, It's just about, I think, having different viewpoints on certain mechanics in the yeah. game because there's so much... Like, as I said, I was talking to a guy tonight that I genuinely thought would never utter the words Pez, let alone try eFootball. Like, and it was like completely blown off with the franchise and was like, do you know what? I can see what they're trying to do here it's not where it needs to be like from an actual animation standpoint even though everything's improved like the stun and shot has improved certain things the animations are improved it's not there yet but i think konami just wanted to say like hold on lads like right we're not written off yet give us a chance it might take a few months before we have our modes and we have everything else but give us a chance to get this gameplay in front of you and i think that's what they've tried to do is to offer something new that it's like you know the defendant isn't exactly where i'd want it to be yet but like there is that risk reward there that i think controls the pace of the game that you're finding games that yeah if they're very aggressive and somebody is pressing you to death you're still scoring goals you know what i mean like you're still exploiting space against guys and scoring two three goals where you shouldn't be not that you shouldn't be scoring but if that was pez back you know you'd often lose five nil against a guy that was a mismatch with you but yeah. if you're a good player now and you exploit the space, you can score goals against anybody. Do you know what I mean? That's but you how only I have feel to look at one of the games in my stream yeah, earlier on. Yeah. I came up against the guy and then I was like, at the end of it, I was just like, I've I've gone ultra attacking, I've done all of these different things, and then it's ended up being six three to him. And it's mm. like it's not even like a case where I'd be like, Oh, I got lucky. I'd be like, No, this guy, not only did he pick off the space, not only yeah. did he pick off the 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 passing and possession game. And not only did he pick apart where my press was, he then was clinical with these opportunities and punished me for any errors that I mm. made. Which is essentially it's like the five tools of how to how to dismantle somebody on eFootball. Yeah. If you can do all the five of those things, you're gonna win ninety nine yeah. out of hundred games because that's just that that's that extra bit of almost football IQ that you need to get through this yeah all right like we said not the most perfect of games currently but if you know how to play a game of football you're gonna win your games with this game. yeah but there's always like i th- I think as well man though with sports games like it's and this again this could be a completely different podcast but like with sports games it's like people think because they were good at pez 6 and pez 4 or pez 2009 or whatever they want to talk about and i'm not putting everyone into a box and generalizing but they think because they're good at one pez game that it's like you know, when they lose games, that they, should, they shouldn't be losing games. You know, that's, I'm not saying stupid stuff happens. Like, I'm not saying that there are certain things in the game that does, that does you know, like, add to you winning or losing the game. Like, if I'm true on goal twice and I hit the post twice, it's like, what more can I do? You know, it just wasn't my game or whatever. And that opens up a whole different chapter, which we can go into, you know, again, about, like, how games are coded and, like, animations and what controls different, you know, ways of flow and stuff with games. But in sports games, like every sports game has certain mechanics that you need to learn what works. Like NBA 2K22, brilliant game, absolutely brilliant offline, really, really good online, excellent content. There's like so many mechanics in that that you can, I won't say abuse or exploit, but it's like, you know, if you get a rebound, an offensive rebound, and you throw it out to a three point, it's like 90% you're going to score from a standing tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people play that meta online where they're like, I'm going to go in and have a seven foot two center in park and I'm just going to play, play it back out. I'm going to deliberately miss the shot to get the rebound to reset <laughs> and hit it back. That's like, a, that's you see that happen. It's, it's a legitimate attack. Yeah. yeah. So I think that like, it's the same, you know, we've had touch and go in Pez. We've had triangles of possession in Pez. We've had, you know, the team may press. Heading. There's so many, yeah, yeah long, yeah, long yeah. true balls from the kickoff. We've had kickoff glitch, all that sort of stuff, right? I think there's still elements of those yeah, things in yeah, here, by the way, yeah, which again is. still need still need sorting. They'll always be in sports games, man. It's just about balancing them out to, to make it that yeah. like like you know the best games in the world, like the best games ever, your GTAs or whatever. It's like you know you're playing a video game. It's like movies. You know you're watching a movie, but you get caught so you get caught up in it so much that it's like for like that second you like suspend disbelief that it's like. Yeah. fuck did i really just do that you know a true ball into a back pass to top right hand corner finish where i'm controlling everything and it's like yeah but it's just a video game you know it's all coded and like yeah, i didn't yeah, really yeah. do it i'm just pressing the buttons but like you forget for the time that you're actually 
you know, and co-op is an excellent example of that, where it's like you're linking up with 10 different lads or clubs. You've played a lot of clubs where you're like, damn, I did that. I dragged the man out of position or whatever. You know, yeah. save, like sports games are as good as it gets, save from going out with your mates and kicking the ball around. You know, we were playing yeah. five aside or Sunday league or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so I do think that people need to learn the mechanics if they want to win. That's that's basically the same as every game. That's why some people don't like playing online because they want to play a different brand of football that, that doesn't work online. Do you know what I mean? Like online yeah. is, a, is a different completely different world compared to playing master league for six or seven seasons on top player like you go online against somebody that has played 500 matches using fernando santos in pez 21 and you're just going to get smoked like no matter how good you are at the game offline it's a completely yeah, yeah, different yeah. kettle of fish yeah. you know yeah 100%. but um yeah man look we'll 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 uh we'll end it here i just want to ask you what your hopes are we've kind of covered everything but what are your hopes for thursday because three days time today is what day is today? Monday. So nice. three days yeah, time, man. we're going to have the new update. As again, we haven't had like a press release or a statement of what exactly is going to be in it. I just know that it's going to be a very big update from what I've heard. Um, okay. Now what that contains, I mean, people listen to this, Master League isn't coming Thursday. When I say this is going to be a big update, don't be getting excited saying, oh, it could be Master League. No, Dude, it's not. It's too late. They've clipped you up now. It's yeah, too man. late. They've yeah. you up. It's not they've going to be something like that. Out. When Sorry. I talk about is content, <laughs> and I, I, I think they'll have some sort of like content roadmap or something like that, maybe. Um, what would you like to see? Like, What are your hopes for Thursday? We know we're going to get coins. We know we're going to get agents, probably get legends and featured players. What are you hoping for? You hope for like a division system, a ranking system, or a tournament, or what? I'd like from a, a, a external, or at least externally, or at least not included in the game. I'd like to see clear a clear vision of where they're going with their content. Content wise, like yeah, for. yeah. In terms of going, in forward, terms of dream team, clear, like in terms of dream team. Let's see what let's. Let, I just want to see what the type of thing that we're going down. Mm. I think we. I think if we're going down the the the. The featured agent route and that's the only thing that's there that's as we've god knows how many times we as streamers or a collective of streamers have said it you know it's not coin tent it's content yeah yeah, yeah content yeah. you need it to be where it's like do you know what all right you might not get the same type of stuff that you get if you put coins in but at least give people the ability to earn something of equivalent value by grinding the game mm. there are people who would be happily sitting here playing the game for hours on end yeah there are also those people who just like you said you get some people who are working who just want to just put money in uh, and, and that's your lot you know mm. um i think i think internally from the game itself i think a, an expansion on how eFootball league or the, the eFootball league works yeah um uh, obviously uh, uh, some type of content maybe i mean i'm not sure if the match pass is coming thursday if that is coming thursday yeah I, I think it is isn't and it a, and a, an, expla an explanation as to how that works yeah like in the terms rewards of, and in stuff terms of rewards and you know is there a list of things that we've got to hit before we get certain things like just just a, like i say just a bit of clarity on what, mm. on what is that's going forward i can appreciate the fact that you know last thursday was basically fact finding of Put it out into the wild, yeah. see what it looks like, yeah. and then get and then get get the ideas of what everybody wants yeah. or is feeling out in the open, right? They've had a lot of a good feeling over the last, you know, the last weekend. Like mm. they've had lots of good feeling. Yeah. Yes, on the opposite side of the fence, there's been a lot of negative feeling. Oh yeah, but you're always going to get that. Uh, uh, you know, with offline players, with yeah. the, these other things. But hone in on that good stuff yeah. and expand on the good stuff it's a, in the sense of people do want to play this game. Mm. People do want to be... You need an excuse to come back and play this game. Yeah. So give us give us that excuse. Give yeah, us man. that excuse to come and play it. That's what I would like. I'd yeah. like an excuse to come back and keep playing it. Yeah. I just, wa I just want to see Ry Keen come. That's that's all. <laughs> everything everything you said plus Ry Keen. That's all yeah. I want. Everything, everything, or else Harty. Everything, yeah. Harty should come back as a manager. That's he's gonna uh, be my you know, new man. I tell you what, I tell you what, if they ever if they ever pull the trigger on that mass on the original Master League players, yeah, man. Year, I think it's I actual, think it's possible. If they ever if it no no no, but not as managers but as players, if they oh, ever yeah. pull oh, the trigger, man. iconic oh, moment, Steve. Oh, oh. I, de I definitely die. Oh. Yeah. 
I just get Castolo in. Oh man. Shiles, imagine Shiles imagine, imagine like, coming up against Shiles Castolo field, online. Then? You'd just be bowing oh, down when oh. you can see the goal like to him. You know? Yeah, you just be like, I put my controller there, yeah. that's it. That's fine. You'd I'm just be cursing there. him. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't <laughs> it? Some stuff like that. But yeah. yeah, man, I do. I agree with everything. I just think I just think more content. I mean, I've been enjoying playing it. Um yeah. I'm gonna hopefully t- stream a bit maybe tomorrow because I'm off I'm off I'm off tomorrow, so I'll probably stream a bit tomorrow and just try and like get into you know, playing a couple of matches back to back because I kind of spent most of the time so far just going through players and doing lists and, you know, having... Wait, it's an alien concept for you. Normally, you're, you're knee-deep in edit mode with the rest of the editors. Yeah, so man, you, I don't you, know myself at this stage. You know edit mode. <laughs> I don't know myself, so I'm throwing myself into video content. But, yeah. uh, no, but I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying that. Like, I have the same kind of, like, buzz for it back that I had for MLO, where it's like... Yeah. Like, I, I got this... I signed this guy Corona in my in my like series or whatever and i just like there was yeah. just something about him that just caught my eye it's like love at first yeah. sight and i was like yeah i'm gonna actually sign you i don't know why i've never heard of you before <laughs> and then he's just absolutely bossing in like the, the couple of games i've played so that's what i think it's all about like i would have never signed him before if there was no marketplace there like i would have just yeah it's you know. the same with like the, like some some of the youngsters that i've yeah. signed online and, and i'll point to my screen because it's on it's currently on my screen so just <laughs> it's your screen saver i've just finished streaming and then i'm probably still gonna go and play it after this podcast but it's like i look at the likes of like like i brought in gavi which i know a lot of people yeah, have done yeah, yeah. Gavi's obviously a big one. people have bought in, people have bought in pedro as well but looking at gavi and then watching him develop as a yeah as it's a class player, like or you know, having, you know, just the kind of players, you know, I've maxed out my Olivier Giroud, which at this point is a meme for my channel because <laughs> he is a, he's a channel icon. Like, if you haven't been there for the whole journey of Olivier Giroud, you just don't understand. <laughs> I had somebody who came in who clearly, into the chat tonight, who was clearly not with the whole uh, kind of ecosystem of how Pez works in terms of physicality being quite a yeah, major yeah, factor. Yeah, yeah, it is. And somebody was like, who in their right mind has maxed out <laughs> Olivier think you're a noob. <laughs> And literally two minutes later, after they'd made that comment, he bagged two in like 20 minutes. Yeah, man, he's like, a monster. That's why, that's why we, that's why we bring him in. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah, having those individual, like little, you know, those little kind of stories as it were, it's like, you know, there's, there's that freedom to this there where you yeah. can generate your own content. You can build a different type of team. Yeah. You can have all that nice. accounts. You go and do different things. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think we'll end it there, man. We've covered everything. Another hour podcast. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll be back probably to cover the Thursday news next week, but we'll try and keep, yeah, definitely. we'll try and keep a weekly one. Now we're going to add a couple of new sections to the podcast as well. Just that a lot of questions came in this week. We, we are going to be bringing in a new feature into it, Player of the Week, where I'm going to be arguing with Wes about who's <laughs> the Player of the Week between the two of us. Excellent. Um, Excellent. And any guests that we get on in the future. But yeah, we'll be having a bit of banter with that. Fantastic. But yeah, lads, that is pretty much it for me um, yep. and Wes. And we will be back next week. I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. Let us know in the comments below or whenever you're, you're watching this on any platforms. And any feedback, as usual, get in as well. We love reading that. So, yeah, that is it, lads. We'll end it there, and we will talk to you next week. Peace.